My favorite thing is to talk about Mark Greenberg. Mark is an interesting person. Uh, at once, one with the Dalai Lama, and at the same time, a force to be reckoned with on the Hill in Washington, D.C. Mark had a way of convincing everybody that the science was worth applying in real-world settings. I do see him like my academic father, you know, who just uh, gives the best to, their, to his academic children and then rejoices in their success. That sort of mix of um, knowing the field the way he does, um, being creative in the way he is, having this vision and standards, but then also really being willing to work with people where they are to move them forward. I think it's that full toolbox of skills that really make him such an effective mentor. Mark was everyone's mentor. <laughs> and I think Mark has is, is is, is always been great at recognizing what people that he worked with are really good at doing. Yeah, your opinion matters. It doesn't matter if you're first year, if you're undergrad, if you're this, that. You as a human being, you matter. He said, you know how you make a, a, a field of cows happy? You give them a big field of grass, and that's my leadership strategy. You know how you keep researchers happy? You give them whatever they need to do what they do well, and that was his thinking. So everybody was a superstar. Everybody had, had an opportunity to change the world and so it was contagious. 20 years ago, prevention science had not been um, considered a formalized discipline. But when Mark created the Prevention Science Center, it legitimized it. When Mark joined Penn State, he built the Prevention Research Center with Edna Bennett Pierce, who he often refers to as his fairy godmother. Right outside of my office door, I have um, a framed magic wand that he had once awarded to Edna as his fairy godmother. Because of the relationship that Mark has in the Bennett family, um, and in particular, um, we've always been able to lead. So we get to set the course of, say, the way the prevention's gonna go in the, in the future. He was involved on the ground floor at building a Prosper a delivery system for prevention programming in communities. That program reduces young adult prescription drug use by a third. He was always at that forefront of, well, let's move to the next level. Now we have capacity. Let's do it bigger. Let's do it in a more refined way. Let's, let's test theory in a, in a more rigorous way, and let's scale it out in a, in a larger scale effort. You are really going to love my next friend. Twiggle. I wasn't there at the beginning of Mark's relationship with turtles. <laughs> The turtle has become one of those things that we get to have some fun with. Turtles are central to everything. The turtles. The turtles are a very well-known symbol now. When you're trying to teach kids emotion regulation, stopping and thinking is the first step, and it's actually a really hard step. You could actually act like a turtle. They can pull back within their shell for a moment and look around and regroup. You teach a little kid to act like a turtle, and pull themselves into their shell, then they're not popping somebody, right? And that's, <laughs> that's, the, that's the first step, right? We said to my son, Harry, we were like, Harry, this is the first person to ever turtle. And Harry got down on the floor and she was like, look, I can turtle. And then was like, can you show me how to turtle? And Mark does it right along with him. And it was just not only sweet, but just reminds you of, of why we're doing it. It's not all about his legacy. That isn't what's important to him. What's important to him is the work that he's done and make sure to make sure that it's sustainable. Mark always built it to stay, understanding that the science of prevention will always be evolving, but the need for prevention will always be here. I say this every time I see him. Thank you for forging forward into the next phase of your life because I'm gonna come there in a little while and I just wanna follow along and figure out what did you learn to make it uh, work effectively. We couldn't have had this center without him. I mean, that's really what it comes down to. We've all done our contributions to make this place a, a fantastic place, but it, it wouldn't have happened. The reality is it wouldn't have happened in the way that it's happened without, without Mark. 
Thank you, Mark. Thank you for laying the groundwork. Just thank you for your life's work, and it will continue. <laughs>